people that don't like pizza, millennials that don't love the 90s, and women who require that a man make six figures in order to date him. What do all of these things have in common? They're all outliers to the rule and they represent such a small minority of the overall group. If we look in real life, we're not hearing this. We're not hearing women say that they will only date a man who is making six figures in real life circles of women. But for some reason, this narrative is being pushed and in my opinion, is polarizing men and women against each other. And, and I wanna bring us, bring us closer together in a healthy way. So I'm gonna give my opinion and talk about it right now. Much of the internet is based on sound bites and highlights, and that's fine, but when we take those highlights, we take those sound bites, and we make that the standard, we get a skewed view and it doesn't tell the full picture. Well, the outcome from that is men feel as though they can't get a woman if they're not making six figures, and then they have women painted in the light that they will only date a man if he's making six figures. It's just not true. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sky, and I make videos to help you improve your financial well-being. Let's take a look at what the data is actually saying. Who are women marrying? How much money are they making? All right, so this chart is from an article from CBS News, and it shows the average income, the median income of married men, single men, um, single women, and married women. And they show it by different ages. So you can see down below here are the ages. And if you look, yes, married men do make quite a bit more, but are they making six figures? At the age of 20, at the age of 20, the married man is making a little bit less than 30K on average. As he gets older, he makes more money. And then once he gets to about 35 years old, he's like right at 65. And it looks like he's continuing to go up into his 40s, making more and more and more. $86,000 is where men peak around the age of 47 years old. So that doesn't look like six figures. Let's continue though. Let's, let, let's, let's continue and learn a little bit more as to, to why this, this is a narrative that's, that's actually not real. So that's the first chart. Down a little bit further, you'll see highlighted here, college educated Americans are much more likely to be married than those who only have high school diplomas, creating not only a marriage gap, but an income gap. Americans without a four year college degree now earn less than they did in 1979. So there is this correlation between a man making more money and him being a more desirable suitor when it comes to marriage. Because if you are, and this chart makes sense when you look back at this chart here, if you are college educated, you have a higher earning potential. And these are the men who women are choosing more often to get married to. So we know that financial stability is important to women, but what else is important to women? And what do women find attractive in men outside of financial stability? So that's what we're gonna take a look at now. But before we do that, we're gonna see just how important financial stability is to women as well as to men when it comes to a life partner when it comes to marriage. Okay, so this is a survey done by PewResearch.org, a very reputable company that does these surveys and has quality data. And it says here, percent of men and women saying that being able to support a family financially is very important. And they break it out by men and women. Men, 72% of the respondents said that it was very important to be able to support a family financially. 71% of women said it was very important to be able to support a family financially in order to be a good husband, a good partner. Okay, so being able to support a family financially is something that's considered to be very important in order to be a good husband, a good partner. But is money the only thing that matters? Do women only care about that financial stability? Let's look at what else is considered attractive in order to be a good husband. Because they didn't just look at the money part. This survey goes a little bit deeper and looks at other things. So what are some of those other traits? Okay, so this is a percentage of adults, men and women combined, saying that it's very important that a man or a woman has each of these traits in order to be a good husband or a good wife. So what are men and women saying about being caring and compassionate? 
86% of adults say that that is very important in order to be a good husband or a good partner. 90% of adults say that that is very important in order to be a good wife or a good partner. So it's not just financial stability, but being caring, being compassionate as well. So it's not just about the money. The money is not the only thing that makes a man attractive. But again, that narrative is being pushed out there that I just care about six figures, six figures, six figures. The man makes six figures, he's amazing. He's desirable, I want him, yes. No, 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 no. Look who women are marrying and look what women are saying that, that they want in terms of a good partner. Look what matters, caring, compassionate, support a family, contributes to chores. Education is not as important, but what's the most important thing? Caring and compassionate and being able to support a family financially. And we know that that's not six figures. We know it's not making six, fig six figures. We can go back to our chart and we can see that it was never six figures. Over time, over the years of the man, you can see that it never got to that six figure point. Did the man have higher income than the single men? Yes, which made him more desirable? Yes, but it was never six figures. So, okay, now we have another chart and this breaks down income of men age 20 to 59 by race because I wanna look at the race as well and you can see for white men, you can see they break it down here um, by age 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and 50 to 59. And you can see the income gets um, higher as the man gets older. So they're all kind of not making a whole, whole lot of money between the ages of 20 and 29. But when they turn 30, and between the ages of 30 and 39, everybody's income gets higher, all right? And then we go to the 40s, even higher, 68 for white men, um, let's say 48 for black men, 40 for Hispanic, and dang, wow, 100K for Asian men. Okay, so that's six figures but it takes him between the ages of 40 to 49 to get to that. And we're leaving out all of these other races. It's just one race that on average gets 100,000 or six figures, but between the ages of 40 and 49. What about all these other ages here? These are all ages where people are dating and they're not dating only men who make six figures. All of this information for this chart is coming from ssa.gov, the Social Security Administration. So this is legit facts of, of what's happening and what's going on here. All right, so we see that married men make more. We see who women are marrying, and it's not men that make six figures. We even see the preferred traits, but what's even more interesting is that other research reveals that it may not be about money per se when it comes to women, but more so about the man's earning potential. Okay, so it says here, it is not about the money. Research reveals women are more interested in a man's earning capacity than the size of his wallet. Research on mate preferences has long found that individuals who have access to valuable resources are highly desirable as romantic partners in particular to women. So it's saying here, access to valuable resources. So this goes back to the statement around women desiring men who have a particular earning capacity they can see something in him that lets them know that he has a particular earning capacity and it all relates back to his ability to be able to take care of a family. So this isn't saying a certain dollar figure, it's not saying six figures, but it's saying that he has something in him that I can see. He has produced some fruit, he has certain traits and qualities, and I can see his earning capacity. But we know that that's not the only thing that women are desiring because we saw the chart about the other traits that make a man a good husband, that make a woman a good wife, and that's being caring, that's being compassionate. So the next time you're having bro chats or girl talks and you hear somebody say, women only want to date men who are making six figures, make sure to send them this video. Ultimately, I wanna know what are women saying in your circles? Are they saying that they are only dating a man that's making six figures or that they wanna date a man that is financially stable, that has growth mindset and good character? Leave a comment down below on what you're hearing in your circles from women. And with that, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.